Warren Miller once said, if I ask anybody who learned to ski after the age of five what their first day was like, they can always remember. They can tell you what the weather was like, who they went with, what they had for lunch that day. Why? Because that day on the skis was the first day of total freedom in their life. The week started out like most ski trips do, with a late arrival and an early wake up. Good morning. Hello. Tim Dorr, Mr G, Chris Dorr and myself hit the slopes of Tura in the hope that we'd see a unicorn or find Brigadoon. A bluebird day on the hill with nothing but dry powder. With flat light and dry powder conditions, we headed up to the top of the mountain. Little did we know of the beast that lurked above us. An avalanche from above the High Noon Express was released. Snow, enough to cover a small town, created its way to the chair. The beast so savage, so untamable, it demolished a pylon and relocated a snowcat. We knew immediately that we wouldn't see Crystal on the slopes of Turo again. With Crystal gone, each of us processed this change differently. Tim Dorr, Mr G and myself went for a walk along the old coach road. It had long been a favourite way to stretch the legs and to get the oxygen flowing on the non-skiable days. Claudia made snow angels. Scoot? Scoot mounted his bike and pedalled to two hours base cafe. Although he can never remember the author, Scoot's motto has long been, a bad day on the bike, beats a good day in the office. Nice. So how was the, how was the ride up? How long did it take you? It took me, it was a two hour slog to get up, but a 20 minute descent. I was crying all the way down. And photographs or videos from there today? I have photographs, which uh, Shane's just gonna pop here. Really that side? And here, just to make it more challenging because you can't then repeat the, uh, the same thing. Yes. Three, three words to sum up the day? Uh, challenging, rewarding, crying. We abandoned Turo and headed for the slopes of Whakapapa. It had been 20 years since I last skied there. In Crystal's absence, Mr G took charge of morale. With Chris gone, we needed a new snowboarder on the team. Name? Jagsy. Gear? Yes, snowboard, otherwise known as the toothpick, because I'm very small, so, you know. Final words? We should keep going, because my butt is getting cold, sitting on the ice. the corner of my eye I saw a pretty little thing approaching me she said I never seen a man who looks so all alone or could you use a little company but if you pay the right price your evening will be nice and you can go and send me on my way I said you're such a sweet young thing why you do this to yourself she looked at me and this is what she said oh there ain't no rest for the wicked money don't grow on trees I got
not your money, not your life But if you try to make a move, I won't think twice I told him you could have my cash But first you know I gotta ask What made you wanna live this kind of life? He said there ain't no rest for the wicked Money don't grow on trees I got bills to pay, I got mouths to feed There ain't nothing in this world for free I know I can't slow down, I can't hold back Though you know I wish I could An epic time on the snow soon faded our memories of the troubles earlier in the week. Claudia and Scoot made their way up from the valley below to the top of Whakapapa to join us. The snow had been amazing this day, and we were treated to the most sensational sunset. The tradition of the ski week, now in its fifth year, had continued strong in spite of the severe setbacks. Ultimately, it proved to be another triumphant year. you all see the love that that's sleeping while my guitar gently weeps I look at the floor and I sing it needs sweeping still my guitar gently weeps I don't know Hi, I'm Tim. I like walks on the beach and you know decent skiing, so not here. 